गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड विश यू ऑल ए वेरी हैप्पी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन Hello and welcome to this very special program that we're bringing to you from the Army Chief's residence. As you can see, uh, the chief is busy meeting these young men and women who are all cadets of the NCC. Some of them are going to be part of the Republic Day parade, but many of them, and they're all between the ages of maybe 13 to 21, want to join the military at some stage. As we leave the Army Day behind, and look ahead at the Republic Day, we're also emerging from the shadow of a major terror strike in Pathan Court. Many, 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 many warnings for our soldiers to always be on vigil as they always are, but also for these young men and women to think about the future and to think about the security situation. Like we said, here we are with the future soldiers, many of them of the country, and the chief in conversation with them. Let's see if we can get a sense uh, as uh, the, the chief is shaking hands with all these uh, cadets here. Sir, good morning. Lovely to see you here. Morning. And one doesn't get a chance to talk to you so often, so we thought while you're talking to the cadets, we'd also uh, try and speak to you, good sir. Good afternoon, Prakha. Sir, uh, you know, I was right here when the Army Day reception happened, and I saw that there was a film, a very wonderful film that you played. And, um, you know, there you, you spoke about the need for the soldier to be constantly on vigil. Now, we have, in fact, as you meet these young boys and girls who may, in fact, be the soldiers of the future, we are, in fact, emerging from a major, major terror strike, from the shadows of a major terror strike. Sir, I want to ask you, uh, are you fully satisfied with the way that operation went? Because you've seen the media debate, you've seen many of the experts, uh, in fact, talking about this. So what would you say? Are you satisfied, sir? Barkha, fully satisfied. Operation was very well coordinated. There were total synergy between all the forces which took part in the operations. So you have no regrets and you, you don't believe any mistakes as is being suggested in sections of the public commentary? You see, lessons learned are always there. Even from the successful operations, we have certain lessons to be learned. So one of the major controversies uh, and talking points has been why the operation took as long as it did. But uh, my sense is that you know the, the military had decided that this was going to be on our terms, that there was going to be no hurry. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Many questions being asked, why did it take as long as it did to actually declare the base clear of terrorists? Barkha, I had given three very clear-cut directions to my army commander, Western Command. Yes. First was safety and security of the Air Force assets, families, and there were also some foreign students. Second was to contain the area of incident. Yes. I have a very strong inner and outer cordon and to make sure that no terrorists can get out. And the third was to avoid casualties and to carry out very deliberate operations. And all three objectives were met. Whatever casualties, fatal casualties were there, they were initially in half an hour, 40, 45 minutes. And after that, there was not a single operational fatal casualty throughout the operations. Hence, it was a very successful operation. So one of, the, one of the questions that has been asked is whether there was confusion about the command and control, about who was in authority. Uh, in fact, you did say at your Army Day press conference that the Army was in command, but I want you to just clarify this once and for all, because a big criticism has been the impression that the NSG was leading the operations and the Army had to take second place. And there was also confusion about whether the Army was in command, the Air Force was calling the shots, the NSG was calling the shots. So can you clarify this once and for all? But I clarified during press conference 13th, I again clarify that Army was totally in command of the operations. Army was leading the yeah, operations. Definitely. And we not the NSG. Not the NSG. It was a coordinated operation, and operation was controlled and coordinated by Army Commander, Western Command. Uh, there were eight columns of the Army, which were uh, over there. <clears throat> then NSG team was there. Groots were there. Since NSG was there, Groots were there. Army teams were there. That's why for coordination and operation control, I'd put Army Command, Western Command uh, in operation control. So, so you just said that there were eight columns. Initially, it was reported that there were only two columns, that the para paras were sent, but they were not utilized, that the Army was ma you know, just not used to its best ability. You're saying this is not true. Bar and that many more troops were sent than the media reported. Barkha, I think uh, the, uh, some sections may not have had the full details of the operations. That's why initially some people reported only two columns were there of the army. Actually, there are eight columns. And we also had 
uh, per SF. And they were used as the all troops. all all troops which were there were suitably used. Sir, as we as we since one doesn't get a chance to talk to you, and today you were talking to the cadets, so we're just using this opportunity. What would you say about the fact that Punjab? has emerged as a kind of new theatre of action. You know, earlier it used to be Jammu and Kashmir, but we're really seeing this is the second strike after Gurdaspur and Punjab. How does the military, how do US chief read that? You see, on the line of control, we have got very strong anti-inflation, uh, counter-inflation grid. Yes. Uh, now they are finding it difficult to uh, cross over from that area. So they are always looking forward to some areas where they can exploit and infiltrate. I think that is the reason now uh, they are extending the arc of uh, infiltration towards Punjab. So looking for new theatres. Sir, your your, uh, your press conference and even the film you showed at Army Day, it spoke about the challenges of a new kind of terrorism. You know, technology is changing. The internet is a world of faceless enemies. And that was one line that was used in the Army Day film also, I remember seeing here. So talk a little bit about the new terrorism, the new challenge, and therefore the new training that you have to give to your men and women. You see, basically, uh, the new challenges are in the domain of cyber and asymmetric warfare. And these are the areas we need, we need to now concentrate on. And that is the biggest challenge? It is a challenge. It's a major challenge. So as a woman, I ask you this every year, and I'm seeing so many of these young girls whom I'll be talking to in a while. Uh, Nari Shakti was a big part of the Republic Day theme last year. We hope it will be this year also. Uh, but, you know, the world has moved on. United States has moved for women into combat. And here we are still talking about permanent commission. So at least on permanent commission for women in the army. Uh, will you give us some good news this year? Definitely, Barkha, we have only taken up case with the ministry, our ministry, uh, to grant permanent commission. Presently, only there are two areas, Education Corps and Jack Branch, where permanent commission for women is there. We are expanding it to other areas, uh, all support, uh, certain support arms and services. So you would want to open yeah. it for more roles? Yeah, definitely. When do we think that could happen? No, we have already taken up the case and it is with the government. I'm sure uh, it would happen. Only thing is it has to be with new terms of service. So you think it could happen very soon? It should happen. Yes. Well, uh, one day we hope for an even greater role, sir. But sir, you were here meeting these young men and women. You have been an NCC cadet yourself. So tell us a little bit about that and why you got into it, how you got into it. What was the NCC ke mein that drew you? I am from Senik Sul Chittad. Yes. NCC was already there. Yes. Right from the beginning, yes. when the school started. So we were lucky that NCC was part of the curriculum. And it teaches you, basically, unity and discipline. And qualities of leadership. Uh, Barkha, about 15,000 plus schools and colleges have this curriculum of NCC. But there are also a large number of schools and colleges. Who are still on the wait list, I believe. Yes, they are still on the wait list. Why is that? Why, why are there still so many schools waiting to join and how do you plan to address that? Because on the one hand we see, you know, I would imagine many of these young men and women could be the future soldiers, you know. Uh, so why not use it fully? Why not get more schools and colleges on board? Yes, we have to. In fact, every school, every college uh, must have NCC. Uh, it's not compulsory right now, so it's optional right now? No, it's not compulsory in all schools. Yeah. Uh, there could be a problem of shortage of staff. Yes. So I feel we'll have to follow the concept of training the trainers. Okay. And in that, every school has teachers. Every village has ex-servicemen. They are disciplined soldiers. And we can utilize the teachers and the ex-servicemen. And we need to carry, take this uh, NCC, I think, to the last village. Uh, and using ex-servicemen is a very good idea. So, so what is your own abiding memory of the NCC that you think really, uh, in a sense, uh, planted the seed for your becoming a soldier? Uh, Barkha, 46 years back, uh, on 26 January 1970, I participated here on Rajpath as part of NCC uh, continue. Fantastic. Just imagine. So did you think that day that you could be army chief? I mean, kaha se kaha, sir? No, I, not at all. One has never been thinking on those lines. One is doing its job, yes. and that's it. So, so I'm sure these young men and women will be very inspired to hear you because, I mean, you, as you said that you know there was a day when you were marching in that parade as as a as a as a cadet. What did you like best about the NCC? 
when you were a cadet discipline unity which you still follow you still you still run 10 kilometers every day uh, yes <laughs> sometimes when time is not there maybe less not not a must but i try and definitely but do you think as, that as much as possible you think that discipline began with with being a cadet there is no doubt about it well uh, chief is here and i so i want to in your with your permission ask them a question please uh, how many of you and say yes if you agree want to join the military when you are able to i think a oh. chief let you me should ask. ask the question yes theek hai theek hai sir how many of you want to join i was in fact uh, were you there in the auditorium when i spoke to ncc cadets today yes, yes sir you were there yes sir and uh, how many of you want to join sir that's all I, hands up i want uh, if say yes and if i want both hands up in case you are really motivated Yes, yeah that's it excellent in fact in the auditorium also everyone raised uh, the hands and i'm glad that you are on right lines uh, as i told you one thing which is common to ncc and to the army is unity discipline. and discipline and uh, we are the best examples of <coughs> Unity, unity in diversity, yes. isn't it? Yes, sir. All the best. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Barkha. Pleasure, pleasure to have this chance to talk to you. Thank you, Barkha. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm looking forward to talking to all of them. So See. please come on. Why don't you take a seat? And I'm going to have. Uh, really looking forward to hearing your stories. So come on, bed jaiye, bed jaiye. Let me start by just asking all of you to tell me a little bit about yourself. So I have your Diksha. Diksha, where are you from? I'm Kadar Diksha from Haryana. I believe, I believe you're a. I believe you're a, a boxer. Yeah. I'm Tell us a little bit about how you got into boxing. Yeah, I was inspired by my big brother. He got the medal in the Commonwealth Games. Uh, his name is Neeraj Goyat. Okay. So tell me something. Uh, do, do you feel that there was a, some some resistance because you're a woman, and you know sometimes women have to, young girls have to go through different kinds of pressure. उनपे अलग-अलग तरह का ही दबाव आता है. Did people say, "Come on, you're a woman. You shouldn't be boxing. You shouldn't be a cadet." Did you have to go through that? Yeah, it was there. But uh, when we really want to do something, so uh, some things are there that. Uh, that will definitely come in our way but what what kind of pressure did you have to face especially my mother she was not at all ready kya boli wo yeah she said that as you are woman so uh, this is not your profession and this is uh, ye aapke liye nahi bana hai so aapne kya bola unko so i said that i will made it if it is not made for me so i will made it for me but if it's not for me i'll make it for yeah i'll make fantastic. it for me fantastic okay so and what's your name khushi khushi apne bare mein bataiye My name is Kushi Gupta. Yes. I am 13 years old. 13. Are you the baby of the group? Yes, I am. Are you the youngest? Are you the youngest? Is anyone younger than Kushi here? Anyone younger? Oh my god. Come on. There's so there's somebody I'm coming back to you. Are you are you younger than Kushi? You mean you're younger than 13? Yes, ma'am. How old are you? 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll we, what's your name? My name is Jidan Chuslatia. Okay. So I'm going to come back and talk to you and I'm going to go back to Khushi. So Khushi there's somebody who's 6 months younger than you, but that's okay. So tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh directorate. Okay. And I'm a professional theater artist and I'm Wow, at 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 the age of 13 you're a professional theater artist. I'm performing theater since last 9 years. Okay. And perform more than 100 to 500 shows in theater and ballet both. and i'm getting a ccrt scholarship from ministry of culture in theater and ballet under my guru vishali gupta ma'am okay so now since theater seems to be your first love do you how come you became a ncc cadet i became a ncc cadet because both of them resembles george bernard shaw have said that theater would be a last family but when i came in ncc i saw that ncc too is there for uh, unity in diversity okay. so both resembles a lot and that is why i'm here in ncc 2 to give my human resource here too and uh, and, and you're 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 also the guinness world of uh, guinness book of world records right yes. so now i want to ask you since all of you when the chief was here you all said that you know you want to be part of the military right so what do you want, what do you want to do uh, when you when you're older you really want, you want to be part of the force yeah i want to be there in the indian army yeah yes and you think women should be allowed into combat also yeah definitely i think so i always tell i i say this to the chief every year definitely it yeah. should be there yeah. and really i want to be there in the fighting arms yeah 
right now it is not there but i hope that uh, it will be there so all those here who think that it's time now i hope the men will also agree for women to be allowed into more active combat roles raise your hand come on raise your hand raise your hand and keep it there and if, so we hope that everybody is listening to this because look at these vibrant young women and they really have to be led into bigger roles so you are swati so i believe you're the daughter of a paratrooper yes ma'am i'm so the tell, tell tell us a little bit about your dad and what he does uh ma'am uh, he's from 17 para field yeah. and all my life i've seen him seen his maroon cap and i always aspired to be a paratrooper but later i came to know that when i grew up i came to know that that's not allowed for women but uh, being a part of the ncc i came to know that uh, in the month of august there's a camp in agra mm. where you get opportunity to take three jumps okay. so i want to do that so i want to be like him i aspire to be in the in the indian army like him and how is he responding to your wanting to do these three jumps he's very supportive he's like go for it <laughs> fantastic i really love uh, meeting dynamic young women who who dream big now let me come back here to the baby of the group right now where are you from i'm from jnk directorate jnk kahan se i'm samba samba to aap to border ke paas rehte hain phir yes ma'am to aap to dekhte honge wahan to kafi kuch terrorist activity infiltration chalta rehta hai ma'am although bachcho ko is umar pe ye sab janna bhi nahi chahiye lekin samba mein rehte hain to border sector border sector yes ma'am acha i i i believe that you are you've also acted in a movie yes ma'am so tell me about that movie it is about uh, migration in kashmir about the kashmiri pandits yes ma'am when 19 january 1990 when migration is going on in the kashmir okay it's about that that ek family pe ek hmm. bacche pe kya bhi thi ki jab wo migration wahan pe chal rahi thi aur aap uh, aapne ye aapki family ne ye khud experience kiya hai migration ki wo hamesha se hi samba mein rehte the nahi ma'am we are from samba you are from samba only so yahan pe hamare paas samba jammu sector se hain aur aap sopor se hain yes ma'am tell me your name arslan So now Sopor is considered a you know or in when things were bad it was considered a militant hotbed uh, separatist sentiment bhi kafi wahan pe high hai so how did you d- get attracted to the NCC and maybe in the future the military uh, basically i was not attracted to NCC hmm. i was knowing nothing about NCC hmm. the th- uh, thing and you was uh, about army and uh, what inspired me about the army is little bit strange uh, when i was a child and uh, army person used to walk through the sopor because as you said it's a mm. disturbed area yeah so uh, when the army person used to walk and uh, for the patrolling and the army trucks used to move i saw many little children waving their hands to the army i'm army trucks and to the army person and this thing uh, i was thinking about it why are they doing this thing only to the army men there are rest of the people walking why is only army men getting such a respect what's there in the army why are they doing this so you got curious about i, w- I was thinking about it i was very curious to know yes. why is this happening to army yes. then i came to know it's not the person who is being respected it's the uniform hmm. it's the dress up that's being respected and i want to wear the dress for this i struggled like uh, in my family no one was there to support me to join the army and no they, they were they oppo- were they opposed to it kya no. bole wo they were su- they were supporting but i could not get the right guidance okay for but how did your friends and sopor uh, react you know it is an area where many people may have said kyun kar rahe ho ye yeah my friends i often have a tiff over this thing with my friends this jhagda hota hai yeah not that kind of jhagda but arguments arguments are there every time there are arguments in my tuitions uh, yeah. when i studied yeah. there were arguments all the time uh, they used to tell me why are you going to join the army and they used to in say me we'll do this to you we'll do that to you when you'll come back after joining the army i said okay fine do whatever you want i have to join the army i'm not scared about all these things but it was your own decision it must it's my own decision to join the army and my family is also supporting me they are supporting me to join the army are you the only young person from all of sopor to become a cadet and dream of joining the military no there are many cadets yes. uh, from sopor but i think uh, i'm dreaming for cracking the nda for this thing i have a lot of support from army men also because i visited and parents parents are supporting pa- or are they a bit a bit worried no. they are a little bit worried in the hearts of heart but uh, they are supporting okay, <laughs> okay you can go it's your dream you okay settle and you've come all the way from kargil right nawaz yes sir what's your dream uh, my dream is is army join army officer aap kahan rehte hain kargil ke area mein kargil apati acha 
और आपने जब जब वॉर हुई थी 99 में आपने सुना होगा उसके बारे में जब वॉर हुई थी तब तब मेरा उम्र दो तीन साल था और राइट लेट्स टॉक टू सम अदर पीपल एंड टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ प्रवीण यस सो वेर आर यू फ्रॉम प्रवीण मैम आई एम फ्रॉम राजस्थान डायरेक्टरेट ओके एंड हाउ डिड यू कम इन टू दी हाउ ओल्ड आर यू मैम बेसिकली माई फादर वॉज इन आर्मी ही सर्व आर्मी मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स ओके so basically i want to follow the path of my father okay so now i want to ask you all something you know all of you are talking about joining the military but actually there a lot of young people today want to do other things you know unko lagta hai ki koi kuch aur karke paisa zyada banega or it will be a more easy life like uh, so do you all discuss this amongst yourselves that that it will be a tough life let's 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 get somebody who wants to talk about it uh, ma'am this is cadet shailendra dev yes. from delhi directorate yes. and yes of course ma'am because private sector is providing a lot of incentives and a lot of good life great life and of course we can make a lot of money from private sectors but army is the place which gives ocean of opportunities and number of opportunities if we want to participate in the sports it gives opportunity to participate in the sports if we want to uh, have a challenging life highly challenging life is assured in army so that is the main thing which the young cadets as young cadets we want so so do you still feel there's a romance and an adventure to the military because a lot of people say ki aap wo jo josh tha aaj kal ke bachcho mein nahi hai no ma'am not true not true not true come why don't you stand and tell us about uh, myself pallavi bajaj i'm from west bengal and sikkim directorate i'm presently doing my bcom honors in sanjeevs college okay. second year Okay, so, so you're doing bcom yeah. so you could go into any stream you want to that's do, right? what i'm saying uh, i presently i wanted to join the corporate world i wanted to become a finance uh, uh, manager but then after joining ncc i got motivated after seeing the officers over here that they work so hard for our country so why not go something related to armed forces why not join defense forces so now my motive is changing and i want to join the armed forces so what changed your mind like what is what is the one thing you just love that you've learned in the, the uniform NCC? the uniform that they wear it actually makes us feel proud the uniform that they wear people actually go and salute everybody out there so i want that salute from people from other cadets passing by so that has motivated me a lot also the unity and discipline that we see a lot of you are essentially children okay like if you're looking at it from my point of view my age for me your bachas now all of you are saying discipline now when i was your age i was very indisciplined now i'm sure you all are indisciplined also sometimes come on be honest yeah yeah, yeah come on come on i want to hear about the stories of indiscipline and and your 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 teachers and trainers have to promise to not scold you uh, for what you're going to tell us so tell us uh, yeah is this your age to be so disciplined Yes, ma'am, definitely. Uh, पर कभी कभी इनडिसिप्लिन भी तो होता होगा मैम थोड़ा बहुत इनडिसिप्लिन के बारे में अगर हम कहें तो हम लोग इनडिसिप्लिन दिखाते हैं थोड़ा सा पाँच मिनट लेट होकर टाइम पे आना हम लोगों को यहाँ पे पंचुअलिटी डिसिप्लिन सिखाया जाता है टाइम से पाँच मिनट लेट हो गए तो वो हमारे लिए इनडिसिप्लिन होता है बहुत इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम राइट मैम सभी सभी पाँच मिनट लेट मैम यहाँ पे सभी एग्री अच्छा बताइए जब लेट होते हैं तो बहुत डांट पिटती है Yes, ma'am. <laughs> minus two. Ma'am, minus two. Come here, come here, come here, come here. What happens? Ma'am, minus two. We get minus mark for the directory. Okay, wait, 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 one minute. One second. You get minus two. We get a minus two points to each directory who comes late. You get minus two for being five minutes late. Yes. yes. Oh God. Okay, wait, wait. You tell me. You, you, you tell me. One, one minute. One, one minute. Huh. Ma'am, we have a competition going on between seventeen directories. Huh. So once, if any directory cadet is late, minus two for the cadet and the directory. and so that is what motivates you all to be on time yes ma'am definitely but you all she said thoda thoda indiscipline to hota hai so one example that's been given to me is 5 minutes late what are the other kinds of things that shouting shouting Shout, yes ma'am when they ask us to keep keep quiet we keep talking coughing wantedly deliberately they do that so that is one big indiscipline which we see there <laughs> but don't you sometimes feel that this is not my age to be so how old are you I'm I'm 20 years old. So don't you think that sometimes oh this is my age to be free. I don't really want to be disciplined. Ma'am, uh, we should be disciplined in our life. Discipline is one a sense of life which which we should all follow. And here is the uh NCC gives us an exposure to be disciplined apart from a civilian life in which we can carry out in what form we want. So do you find that people your age are still willing to go through that discipline or are some people very scared of it? Ye bhi hota hoga na? Ha huh? wait 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 come here tell me about yourself what's your name rachit where are you from i'm i'm from uttar pradesh directorate ha huh. 
um, it is told to us that discipline is the bedrock of the success. Hmm. And uh, NCC provides us an opportunity, not hmm. only in our cadet life, but in uh, all walks of life, hmm. in all spheres. Hmm. It provides an opportunity to have leadership qualities. But are none of you ever naughty? No, ma'am. Being a cadet... <laughs> you are, you are, you are. Okay, raise your hand. Who's... Okay, what's well, yeah. You know what's really nice is to see all the girls saying that we are very naughty and all the boys pretending to be very well behaved. So, Kushi, how are you naughty? Ma'am, when in the roll call, they say Savdhan and he, uh, whenever he says Savdhan, everybody start coughing and whenever he says don't cough, don't cough, so everybody start coughing more louder. <laughs> okay, now tell me here somebody who's in the NCC but wants to do something else. Do any of you think of doing something else? Come forward, come forward. Ma'am, I want to be an IPS officer because uh, my inspiration is Kiran Bedi and I inspire from them. Okay, Kiran Bedi, of course, was an NCC cadet herself, so that's, uh, that's of course, uh, interesting. So let's hear from some uh, more voices here. You're Monica and you're Sapna. Come on, give me space. So where are you from? From Punjab Directed. Punjab, sir? Yes, ma'am. Where are you from? Punjab. Ma'am, he's our Haryana. How did you come here? Ma'am, and... Okay, Haryana is a place where the sex ratio figures are very disturbing. रहे हैं, right? You all know this, right? बच्चियों को पैदाइश से पहले ही मार दे मार दिया जाता है. Female feticide is such a serious thing. So it's very nice to see somebody like you. तो परिवार ने कैसा respond किया जब आपने कहा मैं cadet बनना चाहती हूँ? Ma'am, जब मैंने कहा कि मैं RDC के लिए जा रही हूँ, तो मेरे पापा ने कहा कि हाँ आप जाइए. और मम्मी ने भी साथ दिया. सब ने परिवार ने साथ दिया. और phone भी आते हैं so what has changed? No, no ma'am, it's the same. No, like people used to put the pressure on the ground. It's changed. Okay, okay. Ma'am, my parents are always supportive for this situation. My mom and dad are very supportive. We have three sisters and one brother. We have to support everyone for all things. But in our area, the city, the area, 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 मैं मैं बेसिकली हिमाचल प्रदेश से हूँ शिमला से हूँ और शिमला मैं विलेज से बिलोंग करती हूँ तो मैं वहाँ के लोगों का कहना है कि कहाँ भेज रहे हो बट पेरेंट्स बहुत सपोर्टिव है फैमिली बहुत ज़्यादा सपोर्टिव है अब मैं वापस जाके देखना चाहूँगी लोगों का रिएक्शन बिकॉज मुझे लगता है मैंने कुछ लाइफ में अचीव किया है यहाँ आके Hello ma'am, I'm Kedit Shivali Hilos from UP Directorate. I just want to tell you that my parents are very supportive. They are always there with me. My father especially, and he encourages me. He is my the only inspiration. He uh, wants it to me in the armed forces and uh, he only get uh, me admitted in the NCC. And uh, my family, my friends, they all are very supported. And your grandparents were both in the army? Uh, both yes, grandfathers? Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, you've got a best, N best NCC ma'am. cadet prize? Yes, ma'am. Okay. At the state Good level. Field. All right, let's take some last comments. Where's Dhwani? Dhwani? Where's Dhwani? Yeah. Dhwani, tell me about yourself. Ma'am, uh, my name is Dhwani. I'm from Delhi Directorate. And I'm a professional uh, Bharatnatyam dancer. I've attended many spikmikes. I've been also a bronze medalist of International Award for Young People. And um, I love dancing. And... And you play football, right? Yes, ma'am. So, so, so how did the boys react when you started playing football? Do they sort of say, oh, girls can't really play? Um, uh, I was from a girls' school. Okay, so you didn't have to deal with that? Yeah, I didn't have to. Okay. What's the one thing you've learned that you really think will prepare you for anything? Anything. Come. Come to the front. Ma'am, what we have learned is how to handle pressure and time management. That's must. It's an honor walking on Rajpath. You're representing the youth power of your country, not only to the people of your country, but to the whole world. And that gives you a pride, a feeling of pride. I'm sure. I think that's so well said. Where are you from? Where are you from? Ma'am, I'm Kedit to Jasu Sharma from Punjab Directorate. I'm from Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. Well, I think that's uh, very well said, that it helps us deal with pressure. It gives us a sense of pride. Uh, it gives you a sense of purpose. And it gives you a sense of discipline, even though there's some little indiscipline sometimes. That's, I think that's allowed. So let's have a big round of applause for not just all of you and your dreams, but for your fellow cadets and for all the entire military community. Let's have a big round of applause.